Many of you have asked me to update this tool to cover more categories. And finally, the time has come. I'm happy to share the new and improved version of Renumber Elements with Spline is released now. Now you can select any model category and renumber it with a spline, applying it to any parameter of your choice. And it's surprisingly very simple to use, let me show you how. Here is a Revit project with just a few elements. I want to quickly show you how to renumber some elements with just a few clicks. Let's start with grids. First of all, we need to draw a detailed spline that goes through all of these grids in the same order as you want to renumber them. Then navigate to EF Tools tab and in Renumber pull-down menu select Renumber with Spline by category. You will get this menu where you need to select a category, then you need to select your detail spline, and lastly, you will get this menu where you can choose your parameter, start count, and optionally, we can write our suffix and prefix. And once you click on the button, it will renumber all of your grids. You can check your grids and you will find that they are renumbered in exact same order that your spline has crossed them. It's that simple and it's that fast. Now, let's also look at the rooms. I would highly recommend you to isolate only those elements which you want to renumber. Because in this case, this room will certainly get in the way and it will renumber incorrectly. So I'll hide it and then I can proceed to renumber rooms, same as I did with grids. Click on the tool, then select your category, select your spline, choose your parameters and click here. And now you have all your rooms renumbered as well. Lastly, let's also renumber these doors. Quickly draw a spline that goes through all of your doors, then select door category and in this menu adjust your parameters. And now they are all renumbered. So this tool is as simple as it can be to help you renumber any model category in your Revit project. If you have any suggestions for improvements or if you come across any bugs, don't hesitate to let me know in the comments. I'm always trying to improve EF tools so we can all enjoy using them. And lastly, if you haven't heard of EF tools before, be sure to check this installation guide to get access to more than 50 free and open source tools. Your workflows in Revit is about to become much better.